I just showed you how to test. Now we're going to talk about testing strategy and we're going to go back to first. Now I realize my uh, code doesn't actually grab the first letter. Uh, it grabs a lot more than that. So I'm going to go from one to two. Run it. I think I have a bunch of C's at the end. It's grabbing the second letter, uh, so you're going to need to go and make sure that it actually grabs the first letter. Uh, so it's technically grabbing the second letter right now. Uh, so it's not working as intended. Uh, but I want to talk about testing how to test. So this string is supposed to have a first letter in it, so we can assume the length is at least one. And my first is actually grabbing the second letter, so I probably should rename this. So I'm going to right click, don't rename yours. Um, my grabs the second letter, so uh, I'm going to call it second, so it makes sense. Uh, I'll call it just send it ch. Uh, the reason I shorten this, I want to grab the h, but I want to make sure there's no error here. I better change the print statement also. Uh, so it did grab the H correctly. All right, so there we go. It's grabbing the H from CH. Uh, I can try out uh, AB, run it. You want to test out some different, different values. Found the B. Let's go A, B, C, D. Hopefully it still grabs the B. All right, there we go. Now I could, so I've changed the length that I've tested this with. I've done it longer than two letters and I've done it with two letters. You could try it with one letter, but um, if you try with one letter, you're gonna have a problem because there is no second letter. So you're gonna get this uh, out of bounds exception because I tried to grab the basically a second letter at position one. Uh, that's okay because in this method, you're supposed to send it a string that has a second letter. Uh, and if you don't send it a string that has a second letter, um, we don't need to worry about that here. Uh, this last right here, you need to send it a string that has a last letter. So it can't be an empty string. It has to be a string with at least one letter in it uh, or more. Is val, it returns true if the character or string C is a val. So it's only supposed to be one letter long. And I check that right here. If it's not one le length of one, then I exit. Val count counts up vowels. Uh, you can assume the string is not empty, although it should work even if the string is empty, but I won't test it with an empty string. Letter count counts the number of letters. Digit sum and capitalized first letters are difficult, so I'm not going to talk about those. All right, because I've eliminated the return, the variable for the return value, you don't need to create any additional variables in here. Uh, except all of these take a string. The only one you're going to need to create additional va variable is in the digit when, it, when you test digit sum. So let me go ahead and just do that. So you're going to have to get a value into here. Uh, you could hard code it. So you could do, I think I use negative 247 as an example. Uh, you can just hard code that in. And then when you run this, you would just change the results of digit sum. I don't know if it's capitalized correctly. I'm just doing this fast. Uh, you can also see from the highlighting that those are all the same value, uh, all the same variable. And then you're, of course, going to send it digit sum. Oops. 
digit sum go number for digit sum and here is digit sum there we go My print statement is getting pretty lengthy let me go full screen it so it goes a result of digit sum and then that uh, come on that variable value will print out is and then that right there will be the return value from digit sum and I can see that it's the digit sum method because it's highlighted in yellow and that's highlighted down here of course it's going to report zero back when I run it because that's what digit sum returns oops I did not There we go. A result of second is B. That's correct. And of course, digit sum is very not correct. Zero. I told you that should return. Nope. 13. Uh, easier said than done. Uh, so I'll leave you to this. You're going to definitely want to use the internet uh, to research how to do this. Uh, I'll give you one hint. The first, if you convert this to a string, uh, which you definitely can. Uh, if you can spell, uh, this will give you an error because it can't convert an integer to a string. However, you can do this. You can add an empty string or any string to a number and it concatenates it as a new string. So this is one way to convert anything to a string. You add the empty string to whatever you want to convert. Uh, now I can go through and look at each character individually and I can compare it to, for example, one, two, three, four. Oh, you also have to include zero. Um, so you can go digit at a time and compare. If you're fancy at math, you can do this just using math by using the uh, multiply or divide by 10, uh, but I don't want to get too far into the math on this because uh, it's not easy.